back at you. This is the eighth wonder of the world, introducing compound interest. Uh, today I'll be talking about um, five new stocks added to my seven thousand dollar Robinhood app portfolio, which are. Let me get in here for a second. The first one is I, iShares Core S&P 500 ETF. Uh, the second one is Tesla. The third one is General Dynamics. The fourth one is iShares Core 1 to 5 year USD bond ETF. And then last but not least is Brookfield Asset Management. So pretty much, um, this is my current, um, currently I'm at 7,259. Uh, my all overall is, um, 8.11%. As you can see, this is the live. It's still active. Um, in one day I'm, I'm down, uh, $17 and 95 cents in one week. I'm up $134 in a month. I'm up 171. In three months, I'm up 394. I'm up uh, 366, and then all I'm up 544 at 8.11%. 10% is my goal. So pretty much my strategy. Um, I'm seeing gains by the month. So um, my strategy is working. Um, currently, I have 86 assets under management. Uh, my strategy for 2019, um, the five companies that I gave you guys, I picked from pretty much my my ratio that I have. Um, my ratio is 60% stocks, 30% index funds, 5% bonds, and then 5% REITs. So I'm going to go in those in detail, but that's pretty much my ratio. But then within those ratios, like the 60% stocks, um, there's two categories. Uh, there's fast growth valuation with no dividends because the company reinvested dividends back into the company. So that would be 30% examples, fang stocks. But for this for this month, um, what fulfilled that uh, that category was Tesla. And then the second category is slow growth valuation with dividends. The other 30% uh, examples, McDonald's, 3M, Lockheed Martin. Well, this time I went with um, General Dynamics. And then uh, next is 30% index funds, including precious metals ETF and and buyback ETFs. So pretty much that's a whole nother. I got to break that down, but I pretty much um, I didn't want to cut the the index funds down. I wanted to keep it at 30. At that, to me, I, I just like that that ratio for index funds. So I just included um, if I have any leftover from that 30 percent index funds, I'll invest in precious metals ETFs and then uh, I invest in buybacks ETFs. Um, next is bonds ETFs, uh, five percent. Uh, pretty much they're known to offset st stocks in a bear market, so I'm putting that to the test. Let you guys know, and then last but the remaining five percent will is going to REITs. So and then they're known for monthly dividends because a lot of index funds and stocks dividends they pay out quarterly majority. That I've seen. I'll give you guys updates if if I notice any other changes. So, but this is pretty much my first month that I've taken a thousand dollars and was able to invest it according to my strategy. So I'm showing you guys that. Okay, the first uh, company that I invested in, well, the yeah the the five new stocks that I've added to my portfolio. The first one is iShares Core S&P 500 ETF. Um, just look at the five year. As you can see, the reason why I purchased, I, I, my strategy, I pretty much, I look at the peak. It peaked pretty much on September 21st, 2018 at $295.36. And then I bought in um, at 280 So I know it was, I, you know, I wanted to wait, but until it went down again, but I don't think, you know, I just believe in this, like, 
if I can get it less than the peak, you know, I'm happy. So that's pretty much my strategy on why I purchased um, this index, this index fund. Well, plus it tracks, you know, the 500 uh, ET, 500 companies. And then um, the dividend yield is 2.00. See, it shows, my, you know, my history, uh, my market buy at 280. About iShares Core S&P 500 ETF, IVV tracks a market cap weighted index of U.S. large and mid cap stocks selected by the S&P committee, the F. INRA listed name for IVV is iShares Core S&P 500 ETF. So pretty much that fulfills um, that 30% index fund. So since it was close to 300, as you can see, you know, the remaining, I pretty much used, used that to in another category, but pretty much like I already hit my limit with that. So that's, I got that out the way. So, okay, the next a uh, company that I added and slid through on some wow happy go lucky is Tesla. Um, finally locked it down at um, let's look at the five year as you can see, you know Tesla's rocky. I, you, as you know, I like to look at the, the peak. Ooh, so it peaked on June twenty third. 2017 at 383 dollars and 45 cents so pretty much i know if it's gotten there once it'll get there over time again so i mean this is i remember i was trying to lock it down at 260 on october 1st i'll show you my history but um it it just shot up the next when i tried to um the next day when i tried to uh execute it wouldn't let me execute because i didn't have enough funds because it shot up and that one that's when i was didn't have really no cash reserves so i was really playing like the game like on a thin line so now it's now that i have more experience cash reserve you know to have some um because a lot of companies you don't know when they're gonna fall like how i bought heinz and i think it dropped down to 35 dollars so I, I bought a share of them so and a lot of people were panicking running from the hills i just um stood my ground set up shop and then went ahead and bought me one so so that i mean tesla yeah see well i get into it um as you can see dividend yield zero market cap 47.73 billion it didn't have no p ratio not listed See, as you see, on October 1st, where it says canceled. Okay, see, yeah. Or probably I was just too, I was, but I was trying to, I remember it was down at 260. But finally I got it at 270 because I had, because I have reserves. So finally locked that down. So I'm happy uh, about Tesla. Tesla Incorporated engages in the design, development, manufacture, and sale of fully electric vehicles energy generation and storage systems it also provides vehicle service centers supercharger station and self-driving capability the company operates through automotive and energy generation and storage segments the auto automotive segment includes the design development manufacture and sale of electric vehicles the energy generation and storage segment includes the design manufacture installation sale and lease of stationary energy storage products and solar energy systems and sale of electricity generated by its solar energy systems to customers the company was founded by jeffrey b straubel e elon reeve musk martin eberhard and mark tar peening on july 1st two, 2003 and is headquartered in pal palo alto cali the FINRA listed name for TSLA is Tesla Incorporated Common Stock. Current CEO is Elon Reeve Musk. Headquarters pa Palo Alto, California. Founded in 2003. Employees 48,817. Wow, I didn't know they was employing that many people. So I was happy to grab that. So in that, this stock belonged to this my 60% stocks ratio. 
And this was part of the fast growth valuation with no dividends because the company reinvests the dividends back into the company. So that followed that um, uh, category. It fell into that category. Okay, the third new company that I've added to my portfolio is General Dynamics. At uh, that's the current price right now, one hundred and sixty-six dollars and forty-seven cents. Pretty much the peak for. General Dynamics. It was on March 9th, 2018 at $229.95. Yeah, March 9th, 2018 at $229.95. Um, I bought a share for $167.42. So, uh, the dividend yield is 2.37, PE ratio 14.87, market cap 48.51 billion. About General Dynamics, General Dynamics Corp is an aerospace and defense company which engages in the provision of tanks, rockets, missiles, submarines, warships, fighters, and electronics to all of the military services. It is organized into four business segments, aerospace, combat systems, information technology, mission systems, and marine systems. The aerospace segment delivers a family of Gulfstream aircraft. So those are the... the um, the private jets, Gulfstream, are made by Gulfstream. So this is General Dynamics product. Gulfstream aircraft and provides a range of services for Gulfstream aircraft and aircraft produced by other original equipment manufacturers. The COMEX... The combat system segment offers combat vehicles, weapons, systems, and munitions for the U.S. government and its allies around the world. The information technology segment provides technologies, products, and services in support of thousands of programs for a wide range of military, federal, civilian, state, and local customers. The mission system segment provides mission critical CRISR. The current CEO is Phoebe in Nova Kivok, headquarters, Falls Church, Virginia. Founded in 1952, employees 105,600. 105, wow, that's even more than, than Tesla. But pretty much I bought them because they're part of the 60% stocks ratio. And they fall in the second category, which what which is the slow gro slow growth valuation with dividends. So I put that was part of uh, that ratio. Okay, my fourth new stock added to my portfolio is um, the five percent bonds ETF, which is the iShares Core. One to five year USD bond ETF, and you know they're known to offset stocks in the bear market, so they're just there for safe keepings. Um, let's look at the five year. Find the peak first. Uh, it peaked on July 29th, 2016 at $50.83. So as you see the fluctuation, and that's a five-year graph, uh, I bought a share at $49.37. Um, current The dividend yield is 2.42. PE ratio not listed. Market cap, $2.35 billion. About iShares Core I, I, I about iShares Core one to five year US I, ISTB tracks a broad USD denominated bond index with one to five years remaining in maturities. Eligible sectors include US Treasury, global government related bonds, MBS, US investment grade and high yield corporate bonds, CMBS and ABS. The FINRA -A listed name for ISTB is iShares Core 1 to 5 year USD bond ETF. So that fulfills my 
five percent bonds ETF for that quarter, for that um, for that ratio, and then last but not least, the final ratio is my five percent REITs, and this is my fifth new company that I've added, which is Brookfield Asset Management. Let's look at the five year. Let's look for its peak. I pretty much, yeah, I bought it. This is the first company I ever bought on the peak. But I just like the, the numbers on it. And plus it being a REIT and a monthly dividend, I said, what the hell? I'm going for it. So I bought a share for $46.03, as you can see. Uh, the dividend yield is 1.57. PE ratio 12.87, market cap 43.77 billion, buy 100%. I've never seen that before. About Brookfield Asset Management. Brookfield Asset Management Incorporated engages in the ownership and operation of assets of its shareholders and clients with a focus on real estate, renewable power, infrastructure, and private equity. Operates through the following business segments, asset management, real estate, renewable power, infrastructure, private equity, residential development, and corporate activities. The asset management segment includes managing the listed partnership of the company, private funds, and public securities on behalf of its investors and the company. The real estate segment is comprised of the owners of the ownership, operation, and development of core office, core retail, opportunity opportune yeah opportunistic and other properties the renewable power segment encompasses the ownership op ownership operation and development of hydroelectric wind solar storage and other power generating facilities the infra infrastructure segment it is consists of the ownership the current ceo is bruce flat headquarters toronto Ontario Global Stock Investing Baby, uh, founded in 1997. Employees 80,750. So there you have it. Those are my five new stocks added to my current Robinhood app portfolio. Outro. Subscribe. Comment any questions or recommendations you have. Hit the like button and share this information with other global stock market investors. Until next time, let your compound interests.